Happy Friday, Lark and Nalu evening Ashinsi Kiana. Namla the IT Tinder, your doctor in the very special topic. Our number discuss the Ambo another. Namlodapum joins in the Saudi German Hospital Ajmanile, specialist dermatology, a lingual dermatologist, special doctor, Dr. Andreen Rao Fana. Welcome to the show, doctor. Thank you. And she is from Pakistan. Other than Malayalam, the Samsarik in the Dala will be continuing in English. In Hindi, Araya to the Wunder will be continuing in English. Number Prakshar in the Samsung and England will count the Anna. Our number scroll down to either 052 in the number like Anna will be candid. So basically, any of the Ella Prakshar come along the Lavar come Podwe face and Ella face and common issue on aging of the skin. Allah, I wish other Nakur Sharikim doctor Samsarik in the open dermatology related in the Samsung and England will count the Anna. Thank you so much for being here, first of all. Thank you for inviting me. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes. So, today we will be discussing about uh, aging of skin, right? Yeah. So, what is basically the aging of skin? As uh, you, you all know, when we get older, the internal processes in our body get slows down, mm. ranging from the skin cell turnover to the you know, workout recovery time. Everything needs time to recharge and replenish. Right. And these are surprising if it comes earlier than expected, uh -huh. uh, so we call them premature aging. Okay. So it's not possible to like totally avoid them, definitely, but there are ways which we, with, by which we can reduce them. At least we can delay it. Yeah, yeah delay. <laughs> All right. So um, when you said uh, premature aging, what is premature aging? Like before which age it is, uh, we, we can say. Actually, it varies from uh, like genetic basis and person to person, but. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the if uh, the third be a person with 30 look like 40 that mm -hmm. means it's like premature aging right. especially from the sun damaging effects no? all right that's why we called it sometimes photo aging as well okay so when we can say that a person is getting premature like um, aging uh, when according to the people of her age they don't have so, so much lines wrinkles rough uh -huh. skin so then we label them that it is the premature aging Okay, so I'm um, going to premature aging in a curriculum that we are discussing in the area. But before that, I'm going to pay pressure or kill the arm. We get our number scroll down to 052 and number like an ability and other dermatology related in the sum shingle coming a quick on the So, doctor, uh, there should be some causes for uh, premature aging and aging like earlier, like that, right? Yeah. So, what are the major causes of that? Uh, the major cause is the sun mm -hmm. because uh, when we go out in the sun, there's re uh, there are UVA and UVB radiations mm -hmm. that damages our skin. It actually uh, causes the brown spots on the skin, which mm -hmm. we call freckles in our language. So it comes on the face, you see on the other exposed parts like hands, arms. And uh, there are fine lines and wrinkles because uh, there is a protein in our skin which is called collagen. Mm -hmm. It is the basic protein which gives uh, the skin its youthful appearance. Okay. So what the sun does, it speeds up the breakdown of the collagen. Mm -hmm. And when there is less collagen, there will be the fine lines, wrinkles and the sagging of the skin. Okay. There are other factors also uh, which should be considered like alcohol use, tobacco mm -hmm. use, mm -hmm. uh, lack of healthy diet, uh, lack of healthy lifestyle, stressful activities and of course lack of sleep that add uh, to the premature aging factors. How about uh, water? Yeah, water, in, water is very important especially in the summer months because uh, when we age uh, the water retaining prop properties of our skin decrease. Mm -hmm. So we need more water and more hydration for the skin. All right. And uh, right now it's winter season, right? Yeah. So how can we take care of our uh, skin during winter season? Uh, the winter season, uh, the main uh, thing is like when we go out in the sun, you have to use the sunblock. Mm. And the sunblock should be broad spectrum means it should protect both from uh, UVA and mm -hmm. UVB radiations and uh, it should be like uh, uh, at least the sun protection factor it should be 30 SPF 30, 30. yeah okay then uh, the I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. uh, how about higher than that and lower than that because some people say that yeah. it should be you know higher yeah. some say that it should be lower actually the lower uh, it doesn't work more especially in the winter because uh -huh. Uh, in the winter, people usually go out for more, more longer times than the summer in the parks, mm -hmm. gardens. So the SPF uh, 30 at least. Mm. And the higher, the, the, uh, the protection from higher SPF 50 and 30 is the uh, like 93 and 95% difference, mm -hmm, 2% mm -hmm. difference. So mm. it doesn't make so much difference. So you can use SPF 30 okay. if, you don't, uh, if you don't have any skin disease uh, which is sensitive to sunlight. 
All right. Then uh, in the winter, you have to apply a lot of moisturizer to mm. your skin. So it, it, yeah. it won't get At dry. least two to three times a day, depending on your skin type, like different moisturizers. Uh, so you can choose uh, and then uh, regular exfoliating of your skin. Mm -hmm. So aging is basically only the uh, like formation of wrinkles or it can be uh, like, you know, said as like, you know, uh, the pigmentation, all this can yeah. be. Yeah, the main, uh, the signs are the sunspots, as I told you, mm -hmm. and then the wrinkles and then of course the dry itching skin. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there are different reasons for the dry itching skin, but uh, the main is the aging factor. So mm -hmm. dry, flaky skin. And uh, then in the hands, there are also loss of volume. So you feel more uh, fine lines and wrinkles on the hand and other body parts as oh, well. All right. Um, some people do this laser treatment and all uh, for the hair removal and for scars removal, all this. That can lead to uh, an, an early aging. Can we say that? No, no, that uh, can't uh, lead to early aging because the laser, uh, you said about the two lasers, first I will tell you laser hair removal, mm. it's very specific. So mm. uh, people are concerned they will damage their skin, no, mm. because it's targeted to kill only the hair roots in our skin. Oh. And uh, it, it causes a temporary dryness, mm -hmm. so we advise the patient to apply the moisture after and the sunblock after the session. Mm -hmm. And the other laser for scars, uh, yeah, no, they, they are the treatment when uh, the scar lasers uh, actually stimulates collagen production. Mm -hmm. So it decreases the fine lines and wrinkles as, a, uh, as an additive effect, you can all say. Right. How about makeup? Can makeup cause all these issues? Uh, no, makeup, if, if you are using good products, it can't, can't cause you premature aging, but the main factor, you have to clean your makeup before sleep. Mm. Because if you sleep uh, with the makeup on, definitely it can damage your skin the whole night. Oh, all okay. right. So these are the major causes of that. And yeah. uh, what can, how can we stop this? What are the treatments available for that? And what are the precautions we can take? Okay, the treatment uh, regarding the sunspots, uh, if you have the sunspots, there are different uh, treatment options. Uh, the latest are the lasers for this, uh, that is called Q-switch laser, mm -hmm. and then the chemical peeling option. And uh, it depends on the patient choice as well and the number of the sunspots. So there are different creams containing bleaching agents, hydroquinone, mm -hmm, vitamin mm -hmm. C. Okay. It acts as a bleaching and an anti-aging agent both. Mm -hmm. And uh, regarding the wrinkles, uh, there are a lot of uh, treatments. Uh, we can say cosmetic treatments starting from uh, fillers where we inject fillers. directly into okay. the skin. Uh -huh. And then uh, there uh, is a new therapy, plasma therapy. It's okay. called platelet-rich plasma therapy. Mm -hmm. It's very helpful uh, for the, uh, this premature aging and to stop the wrinkles mm -hmm. because it's the patient's own blood extracted okay. and then we inject into your own skin. So no side effects, no uh, like infection chances because mm -hmm. it's your own blood, but concentrated form. Oh, okay. Yeah, then there are lasers also for the wrinkle treatment, mm -mm. like the fractional and the latest techniques. This PRP and all, will how like, it will stay for some time or uh, again uh, we have to... Yeah, no, it, it needs multiple sessions. For example, the PRP or plasma therapy, we advise the patient to get at least uh, three to four sessions mm -hmm. because it's a natural process. It will stimulate your own fibroblast to produce more collagen. Mm -hmm. We are not injecting synthetic like the fillers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, it needs uh, three, four sessions. After that, it stays for uh, like an year depending on uh, the patient skin okay. response. Mm -hmm. And then you need one booster session, not like the series of sessions, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. three or four every okay. year or every eight months depending on your skin mm -hmm. response. These injections can be used anywhere like uh, most of the people including me uh, we have uh, this wrinkles on our uh, forehead and uh, especially these areas some people will be yeah. having and this area all this can be even the neck side. Yeah. They are safe the plasma injections and filler injections like they can be used everywhere but if on the forehead and uh, around the eyes uh, you have deep wrinkles uh, some patients after 40 they have deep wrinkles mm -hmm. They are caused by muscle contraction. Oh, okay. There we need another thing, uh, Botox therapy. Botox. Botox therapy. Okay. Because we have to check uh, whether the wrinkle is because of the collagen, le uh, less collagen or because of the muscle activity. Uh -huh. So we paralyze the muscle with this Botox and it stays for like 8 to 10 months at least. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what are the laser treatments available for this? Uh, the laser treatment, uh, uh, the, there are uh, fractional lasers for the acne scars mm -hmm. and that it helps in 
rejuvenation as okay. well. There is very new latest technique, uh, it is the RF micro needling, the mm -hmm. micro needles with the radio frequency mm -hmm. and then uh, we can inject the plasma therapy with it. It is very good for rejuvenation, mm -hmm. so far it is the latest uh, for the fine lines and wrinkles and it is safe because uh, you know everybody is working here so right. they can do on the weekend and go back to job. On, uh -huh, <laughs> on all day, right. Yeah. Um, Mama, all these treatments can be painful? Uh, some treatments which involve the needles like the mesotherapy and mm -hmm. the fillers, but uh, we give uh, the patient some like numbing cream okay. half an hour before to decrease the pain. Then it's it's not painful. It's like not that, painful. Yeah. And um, some people do all these uh, peeling, peeling and yeah. all, peeling treatments and yeah. all. Is that safe actually? Because when we go to some salons and all, they say don't do peeling and all because it'll damage your skin like that. Yeah, peeling actually it depends. First of all, it depends what skin type you have mm -hmm. and what is your issue. Like your issue is dark spots or your issue is fine lines and wrinkles. Mm. And then uh, the peels have different depths. Mm -hmm. Some are very light peels, some are medium peels. So, it depends uh, from patient to patient what is the concern and how deep we will go. Mm -hmm. Then it's, it has very good effects because uh, the peeling actually removes the top dead skin layer. Mm -hmm. Your healthier skin then comes up. Okay, but uh, that will be, that skin will be exposed uh, so that it will da get damaged again? Uh, the, depending if uh, we are doing a little like a strong peel, we advise the patient to stay in the house for at oh. least one week because if they go out in the sun, then the, uh, the healing process will be impaired and then the healing will be a result in pigmentation and the side effects like all that. Right. Yeah. Um, all these laser treatments, uh, these PRP, even the Botox, all these will be having any kind of side effects after doing? Uh, the, uh, there are some contraindications you can see that some patients can't do like if the patient on aspirin or other medicines, uh -huh, uh -huh, they okay. have some bleeding, healing issues hmm. uh, or any skin disease, mm. then we ask them uh, before. Otherwise, uh, it, uh, the rear side effects is just like a little swelling, you mm -hmm. can say for one or two days. Okay, that's it. Uh, do we have a caller? Yes. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello, my name is Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Uh, good evening. I, uh, good evening. Uh, can I talk to doctor? Definitely, a... please. Yeah. <laughs> doctor, uh, uh, one of my cousins, uh, he had a big brown spot on her cheek. So, it is advisable. Can we make it a laser treatment on it? Brown spots on the cheeks, yeah? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you can, uh, if you want uh, to do the laser, there is uh, one laser called the uh, Q-switch laser. It removes the brown spots, uh, like sometimes in one session and it depends uh, sometimes uh, after six weeks and other session. But it has good results, amazing results. So that means uh, uh, there is no chance it will not come back again. That the laser treatment has been done, that is totally, we can remove that uh, brown spot. Will it come back? That's, that's ah, so, uh, once it is removed, uh, you have to take care, as I told you, the prevention uh, from the sun and uh, if uh, long hair, sunblocks. So, if there is no genetic basis, then less likely it will come back if you take the preventive measures as well. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank All you. right, Isaac. Thank you so much for calling. Bye-bye. Take care. So, doctor, um, after these kind of treatments, what are the things we have to take care of? The most important, as I told you, the sun protection and then hydration of the skin. Hydration. Okay. Hydration of the skin, like uh, the hydration uh, anti-aging uh, comes in different ways. The most important thing, you know, as we enter 30s, uh, it's recommended now worldwide to use a uh, vitamin A based cream. It's very famous oh. around retinol based. Okay. Because vitamin A has uh, two advantages. Mm -hmm. One, it uh, removes the dead skin cell layer, what we call exfoliation of the mm -hmm. dead skin cell layer mm. and the healthy skin cells come up. The th second thing, it decreases uh, the breakdown of the collagen, what we need oh. uh, for our skin support. Okay. So, the vitamin A and uh, hyaluronic acid, uh, these uh, skincare products as a routine at night, if you apply, then of course, you, uh, you don't need uh, repeated treatments. Okay. And um, how about the uh, face wash and all this, like soap-free we should use? Yeah. So, uh, it depends. If you, you can use the cleanser or the face wash according to your skin type. If you have oily skin and you need deep cleansing of the pores, then definitely the face wash okay. for oily skin because uh -huh. then the 
uh, people with acne usually have the clo clogged pores. Mm. So these face, wa uh, face wash will cl clean that uh, pores and definitely they will not get the breakout of acne again. Okay. Again. How about exfoliating? Like uh, if we scrub more, will the, uh, like, uh, the skin get damaged? No. Uh, it's routinely at uh, recommended even uh, these exfoliation treatments now you have heard of hydrafacial and other facials yeah it's recommended to do them at least uh, like a month or at least after six weeks mm -hmm. then you can keep uh, your home exfoliating treatment routine okay. like once or twice a week not too much but mm -hmm. at least once or twice a week okay. because exfoliation uh, uh, the with the aging also the turnover of the cell decreases mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so to uh, speed up that you need to exfoliate to remove the dead skin cells uh -huh. then the healthy skin uh, skin cells will take place to breathe okay coming back to the prevention what yeah. what we can do to avoid aging of the skin so the prevention number one is the sunblock and then uh, of course uh, plenty of water in the summer mm. and then uh, the moisture and avoid all the other extra factors mm -hmm. like uh, take proper sleep and take healthy diet containing fruits and vegetables because these vitamins even if you apply on the skin and take there is an additive effect like vitamin c vitamin a and mm -hmm. vitamin e based fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. how about uh, this um, the home remedies like you know we sometimes we buy the vitamin e tablets and all and we put aloe vera yeah. uh, the like whatever we get from the kitchen you know yeah. we usually do that that can uh, stop like at least r reduce the aging yeah these home remedies um, uh, if you are not allergic to any of them because some patients come, they have, they put aloe vera at home and then they got, oh. <laughs> if it suits, there is no harm in applying them, especially vitamin E you said, because uh, vitamin C and antioxidant, mm -hmm. uh, when we go out, we get a damaging effect from the UVB radiations, from pollutants, they release free radicals. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these vitamin C, vitamin E, they act uh, as an antioxidant and mm -hmm. then they neutralize these uh, free radicals. So our skin will be benefited even from uh, some people apply lemon and then mm -hmm. milk. Yeah, so yeah. it has vitamin C, so it can be used. No problem. All right. Uh, the eye bag and the pigmentations over here, like I don't know what we, sagging, right? Yeah. They're, they're like sometimes these areas sags. These can be also included in the aging category, right? Yeah. So for them, the main thing, uh, if um, uh, we, we do first, if the patient uh, choice, the fillers of these area. Now they are the fillers, fillers. to be used under eye bag. Uh -huh. But if the patient don't want to, go for them then this plasma therapy has yeah. very good results mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. after three four sessions yeah. the patient uh, gets very good result regarding the dark circles and the under eye hollowness mm -hmm. uh, after plasma therapy all right how about a pose open pose i guess uh, as the age gets uh, like or more then we can get a pose right open pose yeah uh, open pores usually patients who have acne prone skin they usually get uh, open pores okay. so for them I, I advise you to uh, oily uh, this uh, uh, so face wash with oil for oily skin which mm -hmm. is specially made because that helps in reduction of the open pores okay. and then a regular use of toners to tighten the pores uh, toners okay. yeah okay and if the problem is severe then what are the treatments for the uh, open pores? for uh, for them uh, this mesotherapy there is a treatment with the derma roller and derma pen it's called micro needling mm -hmm. so it has small needles in it no? so when we do that it stimulates the collagen formation and then when the skin is uh, like poked uh, holes, we put the salicylic acid and different solutions mm -hmm. to make the pore tightens. Uh -huh. All right. treatments available in case treatments definitely precautions sunblock stress interesting topic Thank you so much, Doctor, for your time, and thank it was you. very interesting and informative session. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Namla the Matra episode my This is Nisha signing off from your doctor from NTV US number one Indian television channel. Janangal Kuppam, Vartha Kuppam, Nanmayodapam. NTV UAE to the world.